the evening, I, in order to remove my makeup, I have always used, or no, I haven't always used, I used to use Ultra Bland by Lush, but I found it just too, too greasy, um, I didn't really like the way that it felt on my skin, I had to put too much on my eyes to remove the eye makeup, and I just thought it was just too much hassle. So to remove my eye makeup, I always use Clinique Take the Day Off Makeup Remover. I think I've mentioned this in a couple of videos. This stuff is the best eye makeup remover I have ever used, hands down. It is oil-based. Uh, for lids, lashes and lips, I use it to remove my lipstick as well, if I can be bothered. Otherwise, I'll just use a tissue, to be honest. It's only lipstick. But I always use this every single day to remove my eye makeup. Uh, don't be scared about the fact that it's oily because it's not that kind of nasty oil that sits on your skin and clogs your pores it's a really nice light feeling kind of oil you shake it to use it you can see the line about there where the oil is separated from the rest of the product so you just shake it and then you use it and it's great for the rest of my face I've been using Burt's Bees Lemon and Poppy Seed Facial Cleanser I've been using this for about two years now now it is oh, it is completely solid as you can see and I basically scraped them out because I've got longish well I filed my, filed my nails the other day I've got longish nails I kind of just scrape it off with my nail probably just apply a blob that's about that big smush my hands together and then just rub it all over my face and then I use any old flannel this is just an old flannel that I've got I've got about 15 of these, I've got loads, uh, just a cheap flannel and then I, um, I soak it under the tap for a minute with some warm water and then I just rub it all off and it removes all of my makeup and the fact that again it's a Burt's Bees product which is predominantly 99% natural, um, it really works well for my skin, uh, it's really great for around my eye area as well, even if I get it in my eye it doesn't bother me or anything, I mean it's got poppy seeds in it which is meant to gently exfoliate and polish the surface of your skin but I don't believe that for a second I mean look how little they are they're not really strong enough and I don't really feel any kind of exfoliation happening the most I get is by using this it's almost like a mild exfoliant for the end of the day but remember it's not good to always exfoliate your skin too much but so using the herbalism in the morning is like a mild exfoliant cleanser and this is another apparent uh, exfoliant but I wouldn't really worry about it being an exfoliant because I don't really think it is so it's got lemon water in it, coconut oil, beeswax, lemon oil, orange oil random other healthy natural products so this stuff is great to be honest I wanted to try a different cleanser and I've recently literally two days ago I bought Purity's uh, one step facial cleanser now I'd heard some mixed reviews about it and I wanted to try it myself and it's not cheap, it costs £16, whereas this costs about £9 for me. And I've used it for the past two days to remove my makeup, and oh my god, I think it is amazing. I don't even have the words to describe it, but I'm going to leave off mentioning anything else about this for now, because, to be honest, I've only been using it for two days, and I might just do a separate review on it. And then we'll see how, how it goes, basically. Then after I have used that, I will always again use my tea tree water to remove any last bits of makeup that were missed, refresh the face, close the pores, because obviously using a warm flannel to wipe off any makeup opens up the pores in a nice way, in a good way. So using the tea tree water always closes the pores, refreshes the skin and uh, basically helps to combat against things like spots and any kind of troublesome pores you might have then what I will use or I have been using for about maybe three years two to three years is Burt's Bees again marshmallow vanishing cream and as you can see it's pretty much finished it's empty now it doesn't smell anything like marshmallows to me it's got a really strange smell that I can't even describe it Again, it's an almost a strange medicinal, medicin, medicinally smelling smell. Um, I always used to use this on my face. The reason I used to use it more than anything else is because when I had blepharitis on my eyes and eczema, it would really, really help because of the again the natural products in it 
and I really really liked the fact that it kept my, kept my face quite moisturized it's only worth using in the night in my opinion especially if you have combination to normal or combination to oily or oily skin maybe if you have dry skin it might help a lot but I do find that it is quite greasy for the skin so it's only really good for me in terms of a nighttime moisturizer because I'm obviously not wearing makeup when I go to bed so I've been using that for a while but recently I purchased another Lush product which is called Skin Nanny which is basically a facial uh, moisturizer it says rich anti-aging with UV protection natural way to rescue your skin from wrinkles to be honest I wasn't using it in the uh, because of the fact that it apparently helps from wrinkles I mean using something preventative is always great because nobody's ever going to be young forever everyone always gets older and yeah so I had a sample of this quite a while ago uh, when I first got a sample of vanishing cream I got a sample of this and the other one called paradise regained I think it's called now this one is extremely thick and rich as it says see this is what it's like and it doesn't fall out it is very very thick and it's a kind of a yellowy color which you might not be able to see now this stuff is, is really 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 rich really greasy now because I get these dry skin conditions more than anything else I found that it is really really helpful especially using it around my eyes so I've been using this for about six weeks now and I love to wake up in the morning and my skin is totally smooth uh, it doesn't feel dry it also doesn't feel clammy or anything it really does sink into the skin but only if I use it at night time if you I really think that this is the kind of cream which is only good for people who have got extremely dry skin on their face to use in the daytime uh, if you've got any other kind of skin even normal skin it is just way too rich and greasy and it will make you just shine and I don't think that I think it needs quite a while to sink into the skin as well so I've been using this for about six weeks as my nighttime moisturizer and I love this stuff it is quite expensive I think it's about 20 something pounds I can't remember but again as you can see by the majority of products I've got are from Lush so I really really do like this stuff and I will continue to buy this until maybe I find something else I can't say that I'll be using this forever as I've been using it for about six weeks and I may come across something that I find is better because I do want to try philosophies hope in a jar but I haven't really got around to the idea of spending 30 odd quid on a tiny little moisturizer just yet now once a week I use another Lush product which is called Ocean Salt which I'm sure a lot of you have heard of it's a facial scrub it's got um, it looks like this I've used up quite a bit of it normally it's got like a layer of you see that blue stuff on the edges they're massive chunks of sea salt which is covered in lime and coconut and it smells amazing it reminds me of I don't know going on a lovely Mediterranean holiday or something if your skin does not like abrasive scrubs this is not for you this is an extremely abrasive facial scrub a lot of people tend to use it on their body I personally think it hurts if I put it on my body so I don't think a lot of people also realize that if you do find it quite abrasive the thing to do is obviously you mix the blue bit with the rest of it and what I do is I put it on my hands and I rub my hands together so it breaks down the really large pieces of salt in there so when you do put it on your face it doesn't feel as abrasive as it would do if you obviously didn't like mix it together so that's my tip for those of you that have either tried this and discounted it because you found it too abrasive for your skin or those that are thinking about trying it but have not heard great things because it can be quite harmful not harmful it kind of hurts a little bit I have made the mistake of forgetting to do that a couple of times and I'm like ow like it scratches my skin but obviously as I said I have extremely extremely sensitive skin now if it works for me it will work for many of you but obviously this is just my opinion I don't want you to go out there and then end up blaming me because you've injured yourself or something I've been using this for about four to five years as well this is my favorite facial scrub I'm one of those people who when they use a face scrub I need to feel it scrubbing you know I actually like the feeling of the scrubbiness and 
I use this once a week because I believe that you should only really use a scrub as abrasive as this once a week. You shouldn't use it more than that. It's not good for your skin. And if you exfoliate too much, you produce a lot of oil in your skin as well. So it's only really good to use once a week. It's very refreshing. I love to use this with a face mask afterwards, which I don't have to show you because I've actually run out. Yeah, other than that, that is basically my skincare routine. I hope that you found it useful, I hope that you found it enjoyable, and I hope that um, it answers any questions um, if you were wondering what kind of routine I have on my for my, for my skin, which is very sensitive. And if you've got any questions, just put them in the comments below. And until the next time, take care guys. Bye.